All right, hey, hey, everybody, RV enthusiast here. Nice seeing you again. Today, we're gonna work on the sensor. How do you replace the sensor if it goes bad? How do we know if it goes bad? And also, how to replace your controller. So if you have a bad controller and you need to replace it, that controller on the Ranger sits right up in here. So let's get started on this. This will be a, a two for one. We're gonna do a crank arm uh, to get that sensor off and we're gonna do like, how to change out the controller. Now I'm not gonna pull everything apart. I'll show you how simple it is though. And all you gotta do is follow along and uh, it'll be very easy for you. All right guys, let's get started. All right, guys, today we're going to take off the um, pedal sensor here. So first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move this pedal in. So just push it in, just push it down. Now the pedal's out of the way so we can get our tools in here to work. I did take the battery out just so I have a, a lighter way to put it on the rack. Now you may be doing this on the floor, which will be a little easier than I'm doing it. First thing we want to do, eight millimeter, put it in, and we're going to take this bolt out. There we go. Not much to it. All right, bolt is out. Just we're going to set this in here, make sure we're in the center, because if you're off center a little bit, you'll never get it off. Just make sure it's centered. Okay, now you don't have to really tighten this anymore. It's tight. Now we're going to run this around until we get to a point where bring that pedal in where we have some leverage, which is about right here. And then for me, i got to put my leg up here because I'm on a stand on the ground. You probably won't have to. And just start turning this. And it gets really hard, guys. Now for me, I have to step on this side because I'm right-handed. And then we're going to push down. Nope, we're going to pull up. Sorry. Pull up. I'm going to pass the pedal now so I can put my hand in here. We're going to keep going until it, it pulls it off. All right, now the crank is off. Okay? Remember, I told you last week that this square, this is square because it's, the flat side is going with the crank arm. If it's a diamond, you're going to have the point of that square going towards the crank armor that makes it a diamond and there's other brands other types as well this is just what this style is so now with the arm off we have to take this off this is it feels tight on here because it's a piece of plastic that's gripping onto this uh, uh, through axle I'm calling it axle I don't know what it's called so now to take this off is fairly simple what you don't want to do, however, is you don't want to move it off like this because you will break it. If it's already broke, no big deal. But putting it on, you're going to put it on very smoothly. Mine is not broke. I'm just showing you how to do it. So grab something very thin, just a little bit in there to wiggle it. A little bit, guys. Don't wiggle it a lot. As you can see, it's starting to come off. Then it'll pull off. And then on this one, it's very nice actually. Uh, this cable here comes underneath the motor or underneath the, where this is where the, um, the controller sits, but this comes underneath and you can feel it. You can follow it with your fingers. It comes underneath. So this sensor actually plugs into the, the controller. Mm. 
in. It does go into the controller from here. I thought it maybe swept to the back and it all plugged in on the back, but what we'll do is we'll take this controller, we'll take these four Phillips screws out and expose the controller. Four screws. Protective cover. All right, guys, that's how the wiring is. So I'm going to take the controller out, and I'm going to find this wire that's on this uh, sensor, and we're going to act like we're replacing the sensor. So we're going to reach in, and we're going to gently pull this out. Now you can tell there's a lot of wires in here, so. Okay, so this is out. So in this case, the sensor's very easy to find. So this wire comes up here. Comes right into here. And I'm going to push it out a little bit. There it is. Now. Here's the wire. Again, another nice Juliet connector. Okay, got it off. This is orange. And then you're going to take this Juliet connector and you're going to pull it straight out here. And then you're going to take this off. You will clip this, this tie here and then this will pull straight out of that hole. Very simple. I'm not going to pull it out because that means i got to get another clip. You know I don't have any black clips. Okay, and if you look at the back side of this, this, is, this has 12 uh, magnets. The magnets are on this side. This is what counts the magnets as this comes around. It it's counts how, how fast it's turning as to how how much power it's going to give you uh, how 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 much your your uh, pedal assist is turning not how much it's giving you but how much pedal assist when it needs to kick in basically okay so you would clip this clip off pull this out put the new one in bring it over find your Juliet plug here's the one coming out of the controller Here it is. Reach in here, grab the Juliet plug, make sure we're aligning the two uh, pins for, not, for, for aligning. And push it back in. That's all there is to changing this. Now we got to put this back on, put this back together. So before we do that, let's uh, pull some of this out. We'll put it on. Now here's where I told you, be very careful guys, don't wiggle it on, nice and smooth. Then we can align it to come down here, and it'll snap into place. Once you have that in, then you can pull some of this extra cable to shorten it here, like so. And now that's nice and out of the way, and now we can just push all this back in. Now, I'm just cleaning up these wires a little bit, so I know I can feed them in. Now, also, if you want to change this, it, maybe your controller's bad. So, changing a controller is real easy, too. You just take this controller, pull all this off, uh, and put the new controller in. As you can see, these two aren't connected. This wire comes up to here. Very simple. These two plug in here. Very simple. Red to red, black to black. Uh, this one goes right here, again red and black, this is a, a, a connector that works for it. And then you have one, two, three Juliet plugs that you have to do to take this off. So I think what we'll do is we'll just call this the lower end for this, because this is pretty simple as well guys. Uh, once we've gotten to this point, 
if you need to take a controller and replace it, all you have is three Juliet plugs. Two here. Then this one is the one that goes back to your motor. So you'd come back to your motor and unclip that and pull that out. And then these two here, these two here, pulls the controller out. Replace the controller, you just put them back in. And then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put this controller up in here and then we're going to tuck the wires uh, in around it. So there's the controller up in. Now all i got to do is tuck these wires a little bit. And I'm not going to push them hard. I'm not going to shove them up in there and, and make it difficult and make it so compact that you can't, um, that you may bend a wire and accidentally damage it. All I'm doing is shoving it up in there a little bit and we will let, um, let it kind of just sit there. Then we will grab our case cover. We'll put it up here. Now we have four screws to put back in. that's back together. Now all we got to do is put our crank back on and this job is complete. So this basically covered uh, the sensor and changing out your controller. The controller is pretty simple. If you got to change the sensor, you don't have to change the controller because they're not, uh, one doesn't go bad because of the other. But I just wanted to show you on this video that you can do I, I'm just showing you I, I'm doing both at the same time, so it's not a third video of something very simple. All right, guys, so the last thing is to put the, the crank arm back on. So because it's off, this wants to sit down, so I'm moving it up. Crank arm goes 180 degrees out of phase with this one. Start it by hand. All right, that's done. All right, guys, it's that simple. Crank arm pulled, sensor replaced, uh, controller replaced if you needed to. Um, very simple. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you on the next episode.